What's going on, Geek Tonight? It's Adonis. We just got some new promotional material for a new Dragon Ball movie. 2018. It might have something to do with Super. Let's talk about it. And if you guys are fans of geek culture content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. Now before we get into it, go ahead and attack that like button with ferocity. Show your boy some love. If you want to support the channel in other ways, you can head over to Patreon or head over to the merch store. But let's get into this. Now I was scrolling through Twitter. I was actually on a conference call with Ismahawk for some new stuff that we're working on. And yeah, while I was on the conference call, Yonka Productions on Twitter posted a poster, new promotional material for the new Dragon Ball movie this December. Now, while that's nothing new, what is new is the tagline on the poster. Now, a few sites are confirming the tagline itself saying a super movie begins. Now, supposedly this movie is going to be focused around Yamoshi the original Super Saiyan God. So I'm not 100% sure if that is still what's going on, if that was just something that was a draft of the movie. There's a lot that we still don't know. However, it's interesting that it says a super movie in the tagline. So if it is a Dragon Ball super movie, will it take place during the Tournament of Power? Will it take place after the Tournament of Power? Will we actually see a rematch between Goku and Ultra Instinct versus Beerus? There is a lot there, uh, especially considering uh, the, you know, kind of promotional material around the final episode of Dragon Ball Super stating that, you know, to watch the very end of the episode, there's going to be a surprise, something, you know, good to know or something big that's going to be happening at the end of the episode. So. Maybe it's, you know, something to do with this movie. Maybe it's, you know, Beerus saying that he wants to fight Goku. Who knows? But this is interesting because, you know, a super movie. Why would you put super in it? That'd be the first thing. Second thing, we see Goku with the power pull, uh, which is unique in itself because that's hunkering back to him and, you know, at the, at the beginning of Dragon Ball Z. A lot of the early Dragon Ball Z movies where you set the power pull. Um, so just certain things where I'm like, okay, what, what could this actually be? So let me know in the comments what your guys' thoughts are on this promotional material. Do you think that it's going to take place during Super? Do you think it's going to take place after Super? Um, do you think they're going to hint about it in the actual series before the series is done? Now, the other thing I want to talk about is if it's stating a Super movie, does that mean that we will be getting a continuation of Super later after the movie is out? Do you think it's going to be a bridge between the current Super that we know and a potential new series? Now, the reason why I'm saying that is Battle of Gods and Resurrection F ended up being essentially the first two arcs of Dragon Ball Super, and they retconned those movies. And what I mean by that is there were things that changed in those movies when they actually came into the TV show. So obviously Bulma's party was not at her house at Capsule Corp. It was on a boat. Uh, Beerus was not using 70% of his power, like he said in the movie. He was stating that he was using 100% of his battle power in that fight. But then later we had said, you know, you lied to him just to get him to use 100% of his power. And he was like, oh, you noticed. So it's one of those things that there was a lot that changed story-wise. That was, there, there are very small things, but led to bigger things later, especially how they power scaled Beerus um, and Whis. So I feel like this could be potentially a start of a new series, maybe a bridge between Super and whatever this new series is going to be. So I would like to know your guys' thoughts on that. Do you think that this is going to be that bridge? Do you think it's going to be a standalone thing? And also, do you think Ultra Instinct's going to be in this movie? Because we're just now seeing it and then that's kind of it. I would love to see Ultra Instinct in a movie, a fight that he can actually go all out in without having, you know, to confine himself to the ground or you know, obviously the rules of not killing, so you can't really go 100% um, 
like some fighters may want to deliver attacks like how Hit has his assassination technique. There's things that you can't do in the tournament. So let me know your thoughts on that as well. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, if you aren't geeked and I tip, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. If you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love. And if you want to check out my latest videos, the links will be right here to the side. All right, guys, till next time. See you later.